Salukodas, this is Biski here. Thank you guys. Welcome to another journey where we are going to develop a chat application using Upright, a backend service, and also Flutter. All of them are open source. So in this journey, I will show you how to develop a real chat application like WhatsApp, any chat application that you think of. And let me show you an example of the application that we are going to develop on this journey. So let me run the web one. On this journey, we'll be able to deploy this application on Google Play Store, on App Store, and also on Cloud, because we are going to develop for three platforms the web app. So let's get started. Yeah, this is the web that we are going to develop. It's more secure. This is, these are the introduction screens. And here, enter your phone number. Let me put my Belgian phone number. After entering your phone number, you enter a secret, a secret code. It will send a secret code. One one nine nine zero two. After you're done with this, you can go to your friends. It will sync your contacts based on your. It will sync your contacts here. Those who are registered on this on, on your chat application, then you can select this one, and you just say hi. Send a message. A message was sent. Let me open another application. This is the iOS one. So this is the chat between these two applications, the web and, and the iOS. So by the end of this to, of this journey, you'll be able to develop a chat application like this one. You can see this is the message. Hi. Then I can open this one. How are you? You can send a message. You can see. And it's real time. If you go here, you can see I'm good and you. If you come here, this is the last message. I'm good and you. So, may you please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. We are going to have a series of chat application development using Flutter framework and Upright for backend. Let me show you the dashboard for Upright. So here we are going to have a list of charts. Okay, well, let's go to databases. This is the BISC chart database. And we have a list of collections, the contacts. We have a list of contacts. And also messages that we are sending. And also the charts. The list of charts that we are seeing. And also number of users. That you are using to send contacts. So this is the the upright database, and these are the common four tables that you are going to use on our application development, and also for at the for for authentication. These are the phone numbers that are created, and also they are verified by entering the, that OTP. Salute us. May you please kindly subscribe, like, share, comment. To the code with this channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload a new video.